Are you thinking of moving to one of the many municipalities surrounding Raleigh, North Carolina, like here in the town of Youngsville, but you're wondering what the town is actually like? What's it like driving into town? Driving through town? What businesses are here? Where are the local schools located? Well, stay tuned because today I'm going to take you guys on a driving tour of the town of Youngsville, which is conveniently located just a few minutes north of Wake Forest and about 30 minutes north of the state capital of Raleigh, North Carolina. And we're about to get started right now. I'm Mike Sanders with the Mike Sanders team at Remax United in Raleigh, North Carolina. Today, I'm here in the town of Youngsville where we're going to take a driving tour to get a feel for what it's like living here. We'll be getting started on the south end of Youngsville on US-1, which is also known as Capitol Boulevard, the main thoroughfare linking Youngsville and Wake Forest to Raleigh and the rest of the Triangle region. We're then going to continue straight through downtown Youngsville along Main Street, and then we'll be heading just outside of town where many of the major new home communities are currently under construction and where several of the local schools are situated. We'll then finish out the tour by heading back southbound along US-1 where we'll check out several of the areas nearby shopping centers where you'll not only find lots of local businesses but also many of the nationally known retailers that you're probably already familiar with. Okay guys, let's get driving. Our driving tour begins on Capitol Boulevard approximately three minutes north of the Wake Forest town limits. From this location, you're only about 30 minutes or so from downtown Raleigh, North Carolina, the state capital. From here, we're proceeding eastbound along Holden Road, which will eventually turn into East Main Street, taking us through downtown Youngsville. It's here where we arrive at the first of several new home communities located within the town of Youngsville. Holden Creek Preserve. Here as we enter the town limits of Youngsville, you'll find the first of several public schools, Youngsville Elementary School, which is located near the intersection of East Main Street and US 1A. Here continuing along East Main Street, we're heading through the heart of downtown Youngsville. It's here where you'll find numerous mom-and-pop restaurants, coffee shops, and other retail establishments. Here we're making a left turn onto Cedar Creek Road and continuing northbound into an area of Youngsville that has a more rural feel, but is yet still only a couple minutes outside of town. It's here where you'll find one of the two currently operating charter schools in Youngsville, Youngsville Academy. And directly across the street from Youngsville Academy is Stevens Glen, a fabulous brand new home community currently under development. Located a short one minute drive up the road is the Enclave at Hidden Lake, which is a 55 plus community located on the 75 acre shores of Hidden Lake. When completed, this gated community will contain pickleball courts, indoor and outdoor gathering spaces, and numerous home sites with water views. Located along this same stretch of road is Cedar Creek Middle School, which is extremely convenient to each of the area's neighborhoods. As we continue northbound along Cedar Creek Road, you're going to notice that we're still in a relatively rural area. However, keep in mind that we're only about 10 to 15 minutes from quite a bit of shopping and dining options. And as more development heads out this way, those options are only going to increase. For more information on new home communities located within Youngsville, please see the link above from my full playlist on Youngsville NC New Construction. Coming up on our left is Franklinton High School, which is one of three public high schools located throughout Franklin County, North Carolina, and is approximately eight minutes north of downtown Youngsville. Okay guys, we're going to pick up the tour again back in downtown Youngsville, and we're going to head northbound on NC-96 back towards Capitol Boulevard. Okay, so heading out of downtown Youngsville on NC-96, you're going to mostly notice that this area of town consists of established homes along with some commercial and industrial development.
conveniently located here at the corner of Capitol Boulevard and NC96 is the Youngsville Crossing Shopping Center, where you'll find a food line grocery store, there's a family dollar discount store, along with quite a few other dining and shopping options. Now having departed Youngsville Crossing Shopping Center, we're continuing southbound along Capitol Boulevard towards Wake Forest. Currently along this stretch of Capitol Boulevard, there's not really a whole lot of new home community development. However, recently announced for this stretch of Capitol Boulevard are the new home communities of Mason Oaks and Devon Square. For more information on these communities, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to be notified the moment I have new videos out. If the Youngsville Crossing Shopping Center doesn't meet your needs, just head south on Capitol Boulevard for about seven minutes where you'll reach the Wake Forest Crossing Shopping Center, which contains lots of national retailers such as Kohl's, TJ Maxx, and Ross, along with national restaurant chains, including Olive Garden, East Coast Wings, and Hibachi Express. If you're thinking about moving to Youngsville or any of the other Raleigh area towns and municipalities, please shoot me a text, email, or give me a call at 919-218-7525. I'd love to help you guys find a new home. I make a ton of these videos about what it's like to live in the Raleigh-Wake County area. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified the moment I have a new weekly video out. Thanks so much for watching. Have a really great day. And remember, get Mike and get moved.